Good morning, everyone. It's going to be a beautiful day here in England today. Uh, just waiting for the sun to come around the corner and just warm it up a bit. Actually, pretty cold right now, but uh, birds are singing and it's a nice day. So, I'm going to have my coffee out here this morning. So, I know I said in the last video that I was going to get a punching bag stand done um, as my next project, but didn't get that done over the weekend. So, now it's Monday. You know what that means? It's International Chest Day. So, I've got to train bench. Can't train bench without a rack. And I haven't got a rack, so today I'm going to be building one. Um, it's about 8 o'clock right now, uh, I start training about 5 usually. So we've got all day to, uh, to get this rack made up and uh, let's, let's get started. better drawings in my time but hopefully this is clear enough so the plan is to make these two end pieces out of square tube um, welded together into one piece as you can see down here and uh, they're going to be secured together with pull-up bar up the top here and this rear support which are going to bolt on uh, via this sort of little flanges that I'm going to make uh, the idea there is then if we're going to move house so I can want to move it around whatever, um, take it anywhere else or sell it later then uh, I can unbolt it, take it apart and it's just a lot easier to move around then. So that's the design finalised, uh, I need to get started now. So I've got the uprights done and the um, pieces that go along the bottom. So I'm going to weld those two together now square and then I'll cut the sort of diagonal supports after so that I can cut them to length and weld them directly on there. Down to my last two cutting discs and uh, hope we make it through the day. Never leave your welding magnets on the floor when you're grinding. I always do it, and I always instantly regret it. <laughs> that crap that gets stuck in there. Just cut the last two of the supports. My grinder. My disc health is at about 60%. I still got to cut the pull-up bar, the rear support, and four flanges to attach those. I don't think we're gonna make it. I was cut one. I actually made a bit of a mistake there by holding it up. Got a bit loose and we've actually lost a piece of the, uh, the edge of that cutting wheel, so that's not gonna cut very well now. Cut number two, we have very little disc left. Still got four more cuts to do. This flat stuff is thick as well and it's pretty hard. So, I don't know how far through we're gonna get, but. We made one. I've 
resorted to burning the bare minimum just so I can bend it off. Snap it. With the help of two less. They made it, that's all the cuts for the day. run out in the welder. I'm hoping I've got another one somewhere. Well, wow, I seem to have uh, really buggered up on this one. I thought I had all my welding supplies with me. I think that I must have left them at the parents' house uh, when I picked up the welder, so I haven't got any more wire. Can't keep welding. Um, and shops are shut because of the lockdown, so I think I'm going to have to order some in, wait for that to come in the next few days and uh, and we'll crack on again. Um, so for now, the rack is on hold, unfortunately. Um, let's find something else to do today. Okay, just been inside. We're a huge five kilo welding spool. Um, so that, that's what I'm here for another three or four days, so um, unfortunately the majority of my projects, the ideas that I've got, uh, all require me to be welding. So it's going to put things on hold a little bit for now, I don't know why I didn't plan ahead, but I'm just going to do what I can for the rest of the day. Uh, one thing I did get to go with the bar that I made um, is some weights, well I say weights. worked out cheaper to just buy old car wheels and use them as weights um, but they're covered in crap and they're rusty so I'm uh, just cleaning them up now spray painting them with the primer and uh, paint them black afterwards Primer as well now. I think I need to learn to uh, stock up a bit more. So since I haven't got the pull-up bar on that rack, and I'm not going to have one for a few days now, um, I found this old one which I used to have mounted to my door in my flat. So uh, I've got to fix this. I'm going to fix this to the wall. The only problem is I seem to have lost the little studs that, that go in the wall uh, and sort of hold it onto the door frame. So let's see if I can find something to uh, replace those.
done. Right guys, I don't want to bore you with any more of my spades, so I think I'll uh, probably end it there. Um, got a fair amount done, but just not really where I wanted to go. Um, a lesson to learn from this today, not that there was supposed to be any lesson or message, but if there were to be a message, I guess. Yeah, this current situation sucks. Um, you know, I can't go to the lab and do my usual job. I can't go to the gym. Um, and, you know, today I didn't have materials that I needed. I can't go and get them. It's just those little things which it's easy then to find an excuse to just not not do those things and not do anything. Um, but I think the message here is just there's always something you can do. Try and make the most of the time that we've got, I think, and and just be creative maybe or do something that you always wanted to do and never had the time. Uh, and that's what I'm trying to do now is just make up for the time that I'm always busy, I'm always working. Just trying to make up for that now a little bit with the fact that we have to stay in um, and just doing things that need to be done or that I've been wanting to do. So uh, I hope this may be by someone to do something and you know get out and be proactive but if not I hope you enjoy it anyway keep safe stay inside stay at home um, if you've got a garden get out and enjoy the sun if not it's gonna come soon enough um, so thanks for watching please subscribe if you want to see more and uh, see you in the next one